Hi, good morning. Here today to show you how to install a file locking bar on this filing cabinet. I've taken the file locking bar out of the box. Also in the box is a small bag of metal screws, a small bag of wood screws, and a little square handle that we need to screw onto the file bar first. But before I show you how to install the file locking bar, let me explain to you how it works. The file locking bar has hinges on the backhand side that screw on to this edge of the filing cabinet right next to the drawer. It has an inner bar that slides up and down to lock onto the hinges. A small handle that we're going to attach to the front side to slide that bar up and down. But first we need to decide which side of the filing cabinet we want to install the file bar onto, the right side or the left side. It, the only reason it really matters is if you have the filing cabinet it's right against the wall, some obstruction that keeps you from swinging it open, you can't put it on that side, you need to put it on the other side of the filing cabinet. Now if you've got a filing cabinet that's right against the wall, you need to make sure that you can at least put your fingers behind it. Well, it only needs about a half inch of space, but the file bar needs to swing open, and if it's directly against the wall, you can't install the file bar on this side. A lot of times there's baseboards, like in this case, so it's got that half inch of space, plenty of room to open it. But if it's a case where it's weighed against it, you can't install the file bar on this side. You've got to install it on the other side, which can be especially important if you've got an entire row. You need all of them to be on the other side as well. If you have an entire row of filing cabinets abutting right next to each other, all of the file locking bars need to go on the right-hand sides, or all of them need to go on the left-hand sides. You can't put two bars right next to each other because they would try to swing open and hit each other. Now once you've decided if it's going to be installed on the right hand side or the left hand side of the filing cabinet, we need to put the handle onto the file locking bar. You need to hold the file locking bar in the direction that it's going to be installed. If you're installing it on the right hand side of the cabinet, these hinges need to be on the right hand side of the bar. If you're installing it on the left hand side of the cabinet, you need to flip the file locking bar over so that the hinges are on the left hand side of the bar and then install the handle. You know which direction the handle goes because of the word on it that has to be facing up. In this case, I'm installing it on the right-hand side. So I want the hinges on the right-hand side. You see three small holes into this slot where the handle goes. Hold the handle upright and install it into the top two holes on the bar. Screw that comes with it goes into the back of the bar in the large hole, hang it down with a Phillips screwdriver. Now we want to hold the file locking bar right up against the filing cabinet where the top of the file locking bar is at the top of the first drawer and this top hinge is as close to the drawer as we can get it without interfering with it so right at the edge of this piece of metal that you're screwing into. I'm going to grab a pencil here and mark this first hole where we're going to drill our first hole for the screw. Grab my drill and the drill bit that comes with the screws. We're using a 3 30 seconds drill bit. We drill out this first hole. Again we're using the metal screws for the metal cabinet. These are self-tapping screws. <clears throat> and we're going to screw in this first screw to hold the locking bar in place. You don't want to tighten it all the way just yet. You want to be able to move the file bar. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and do the exact same thing on the bottom hole. Okay, we're going to take the bottom hinge, hold it in the same place, close to the drawer, but not past the edge of the metal so it's not going to interfere with the drawer opening. We're going to mark our bottom hole with a pencil. Move it aside and drill that. Screw in the 
bottom one to hold the bar in place. Now I'm going to tighten this very top screw now that the bottom one is done. Pull it in tighter against the cabinet so that the other hinges will be in the right place. Grab my drill. I don't need to mark the holes. I'm just going to drill right through the holes. There's two per hinge. Finish this top hinge up first. And I drill the other four. Now, instead of using the Phillips screwdriver, in the interest of time, I'm going to change my drill bit to a Phillips bit to screw the rest of the screws in. Now that I've installed the rest of the screws, you can see that when the file bar is in this open position, it sits right in between the drawer on this cabinet and the drawer on this cabinet without interfering, so you can open both drawers. Now all that's left to do is lock it. You lift the handle, close the cover, and push the handle back down again. We need a padlock with a shackle diameter that's at least a quarter of an inch. Goes through the hole in the top. Lock it. Now our files are secure. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please go to filelockingbar.com and have a great day.